Hi, first graders. Um, this is Lennon. She wants to listen to the story today too. So we are going to start a new book um, together as a class. I'm going to read a chapter every day and we're going to do some fun activity um, with it after we read. So the book is called Because of Win Dixie. And as you can see in on the cover, it's for a little girl and how she makes a forever friendship with a very special dog. Um, some of you might have seen the movie because there is a movie, but if you haven't seen it, please don't watch it until we've read the whole book because you don't want to spoil it. Um, the author of the book is Kate DiCamillo and um, this book is just one of my absolute favorites. There, some, some parts are kind of tough um, and some parts are super funny, but I hope that you enjoy it as much as I do. Um, and I hope that you're thinking, because we all know that reading is thinking, right? <laughs> um, so really kind of, there's no pictures. We're gonna make our own pictures for this book in our special journals. Um, but just really listen and kind of visualize in your mind what's happening as I read. Okay, because of Win Dixie. Chapter one, no pictures, it's just called chapter one. My name is India Opal Baloney. And last summer, my daddy, the preacher, sent me to the store for a box of macaroni and cheese, some white rice and two tomatoes. And I came back with a dog. This is what happened. I walked into the produce section. Now produce is where we find like our fresh fruits and vegetables. I walked into the produce section of the Winn Dixie grocery store to pick out two to my two tomatoes and I almost bumped right into the store manager. He was standing there all red faced, screaming and waving his arms around. What? Who let a dog in here? He kept on shouting. Who let a dirty dog in here? Oh, so now if you're picturing this, they're in this, the grocery store, like Cub Foods or Walmart, and they're in the produce section and there's a dog running around and the manager who's in charge of the store is screaming like, how did this happen? At first, I didn't see a dog. There were just a lot of vegetables rolling on the floor, tomatoes and onions and green peppers. There was what seemed like a whole army of Winn-Dixie employees running around waving their arms just the same way the store manager was. So he was, they were like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and then the dog came running around the corner. He was a big dog and ugly. And he looked like he was having a real good time. His tongue was hanging out and he was wagging his tail. What, it, what does it mean when a dog is wagging their tail? Happy. Yeah, they're happy. No, nope, you need to sit. He skidded to a stop and he smiled right at me. I had never before in my life seen a dog smile, but that is what he did. He pulled back his lips and he showed me all his teeth. Then he wagged his tail so hard that he knocked some oranges off the display. Oh no, you hear that? So you know how the oranges are kind of like lined up at an angle, like they're on a hill, kind of. The oranges came rolling off of it, and they went rolling everywhere, mixing in with the tomatoes and onions and green peppers. So there's just fruits and vegetables all over the floor. The manager screamed, somebody grab that dog. The dog went running over to the manager, wagging his tail and smiling. He stood up on his hind legs. You could tell that all he wanted to do was get face to face with the manager and thank him for the good time he was having in the produce department. But somehow he ended up knocking the manager over and the manager must have been having a bad day because lying there on the floor, right in front of everybody, he started to cry. The dog leaned over and real concerned for him and he licked his face. Is, when Dick, is the dog trying to be mean? No, he's just a dog in a grocery store, so he's having a good time. 
please, said the manager. Somebody call the pound. The pound is a place where they take dogs, like, like jail for dogs. Wait a minute, I hollered. That's my dog. Don't call the pound. That's not her dog. Why did she say it's her dog? She doesn't want her to go to the pound. Yeah, she doesn't want it to go to the pound. That's right. All the Wind Dixie employees turned around and looked at me, and I knew I had done something big. And maybe not very smart either, but I couldn't help it. I couldn't let that dog go to the pound. Here, boy, I said. The dog, the dog stopped licking the manager's face and 